According to the Immigration Department, the biggest group blacklisted from leaving the country are P2P Tian borrowers with over 400,000 loan defaulters. Outstanding summonses issued to motorists under the Automated Awareness Safety System after last May 1st will face core action beginning early next year. According to the MCMC, only 18.3% of Malaysians have been fully utilizing the internet technology to generate income and enhance their business. This number is the lowest among other online activities. More than a thousand Malaysians were stranded in Bali whilst waiting to be evacuated following the closure of its airport caused by ashes erupting from Mount Agong volcano. The 9km Rawang Bypass, which opened on Wednesday, is expected to reduce traffic congestion by 50% and shorten the travel time from Surinda to Slayang.